Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today's video is on how to make a checkered paracord bracelet or dog collar or whatever you want it to be, basically. So, the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and take your base cord and then find the center and just hold there. And then you're going to want to measure out how, you want, how long you want this to be. So, I'm going to make mine about 9 inches, I think. Then once you find that point, you're going to want to bend it right like that. So just like that. And then just go ahead and hold on to this. Now when you make this, this will shrink quite a bit. So you might want to allow for that. Then you want to take your second piece of cord and find the middle of that. And then you're going to want to set the middle right there. And then just kind of pinch those like that. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take your right cord, just do a cobra stitch. Take your right cord in front of all these cords. Take your left cord, bring it over here and then back behind all of them, and then up through this loop. This is just to make sure that everything stays in place. And then do that one more time. So this time you're going to use this left cord. Try to make sure that these stay aligned properly over all of them. This one and your right cord goes over the left cord and then back up and through. Then tighten this one. Now we're going to get on to the cool part, which is basically what you're going to be doing is you have to think of these as in a square. So you have the two strands here and then you have the two strands in the back, but these should be overlapping just like that. So that's how you want to think of it. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one from one side. So this front one is going to go back over like this. And this one, which is part of the circle, which is part of the loop, is going to go back up like that. And you're going to hold those out of the way and try to make sure that, this, that they're overlapping, like I said. And then these are going to be your two middle strands for this stitch. So you're going to take your right blue string, and so make sure that this is out of the way and the back one's out of the way. You're going to take your right blue string and you're going to put it over both of these, do a regular cobra stitch. So this one will go over and then back up through. And then go ahead and tighten that. Then you are going to have these strands like this, and so these are going to be out of it. How you want to imagine it is this one is going to go down and replace that one. If that makes any sense. So it's going to move that one out of the way and that one's going to go back up like this. And then this one's going to replace that one. So this one's going to be up. And it's going to be like that. So these are going to become, become your two middle strands. I hope that makes sense. So once again, make sure you're using this cord. So the left one here, because it's covered. See if it's coming out of the top like that, and it's going out at an angle of that way then that's not the one you want to be using. You want to be using this one. This one will always go in front of these. Go ahead and do a normal cobra stitch. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you pull both of these tight, then you pull both of these tight, and then pull all of them tight. And then after you do all the green ones, make sure you pull the blue ones again. Because otherwise you'll have, it'll look weird when you're done if you don't pull all of them. So let's go ahead and do this again. So I'll show you one last time and then I'll do the rest off camera. So this one and this one that are not part of the middle strands right now are going to become the middle strands. So basically this one's on the right side, so it's gonna stay on the right side. So I'm just going to get out of the way, and then you have this one. This one's on the left side, so it's going to move that one. And this one will be the new left side. It's kind of confusing, but when you get, once you get used to it, it's really not that hard. So now make sure you're using the correct rope. It'll go the right side, and then it'll be the left side, because it keeps switching sides, obviously. So then the right side goes over these two green ones, and then do regular cobra stitch, so this one goes over them, and then behind, and then up through here. And then just tighten it. So then tighten all the green ones, 
and then tighten the blue ones. Okay, so I'm going to continue this off camera, and I will show you guys when it is done with the, uh, when it is down to the bottom here. Also, while I'm doing this, I just want to say, um, I actually, I've never seen anyone do this. I mean, I haven't really looked, <laughs> but, um, I was just thinking of different cool patterns to do, and I did this one, so I, I don't know. If you guys know who, like, first did it, then go ahead and leave it in the comments, because that'd be pretty interesting to find out. But I just figured I'd tell you guys that. Alright, so now we're close to the bottom. We just have a few more. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and continue doing this. Oh yeah, also I tape my hand because whenever I pull the cord like that, I go like that and it always rips through my finger. <laughs> Obviously not literally, but <laughs> it is still very painful. So I'm going to continue doing this if I can remember what I'm doing. Yeah. Until you get down to the very end. It gets really confusing when it's like this. So as far as I know, I've messed up like three times or so, but hopefully with the power of editing, you guys shouldn't have to watch those. Now today's the first time of me doing it. I did it once earlier today, but it's not, it's, it's still, I, I still don't really know it. So when you do this part with, the reason why it gets so confusing is because, so you have to look at it. So these two, these two cords are the ones that are in the middle. So you have to switch those, so this loop has to turn. So when you put through this this cord right there, you have to go down through this way. So it just gets kind of confusing when it gets very tight like this at the end. Okay, so once you get this far down to the end, you're going to want to Go ahead and put these the two green ones through this green loop. So if the green loops, if the green uh, strands are on this side, then they're gonna go through that way. If they're on this side, then they're gonna go through that way. It just depends on how you do that. When you do this, make sure they're on the right side. So for instance, this green one is supposed to be on that side because that's where it was, so it should stay on that side. And this one's gonna have to stay on that side. Okay, so once you have those two. Then you're just going to want to do a uh, regular cobra stitch over these and then try to make the back one go over there. So it'll go like this and then you want to try to make it cover this if you can depending on how thick it is and whatever, what kind of cord you're using and how much space you left for it. So mine is actually not going to be able to fit but if it, if it will fit there then put it over this part just to make it match better with the uh, colors. But if it makes it too thick, then just put it below it like this one. Go ahead and do another cobra stitch. And you're just going to want to make sure that these are pretty tight. And then here's what you're going to do. So I made mine a little bit bigger, so what you want to do is you're going to actually cut and singe these. And then this is it's going to connect through the green ones. So technically you could actually make it connect with these if you wanted, but then it kind of pulls it when you make sure it's tight enough, it pulls that the uh, stitch. It doesn't look quite as good, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now that we've singed those, what you want to do is just go ahead and bend it, and then you're going to want to put these green uh, strands through the green loops. So just go ahead and loosen those. So when you loosen these, you want to turn them so it's like that. So basically put this one through from the outside, and then you're going to want to pull the cord through this way. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, fid for this. If you want to know how to use fids, I made a uh, short video on it a little while ago. There'll be a link in the description if you want to see it. Okay, so once you have this, you're going to want to just go ahead and make sure that it's the right size. So 
you can either, usually if you're going to make this for pets, if you're going to make this as like a dog collar or whatever, then um, you, usually you can just make it the right size for them, and then you can uh, put the knot here, and then just put it over their heads, you don't actually have to tighten it. Um, but if you want to, then just go ahead and make it so it's big enough so you can slide it over their head, and then you can just tighten it. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine, I'm going to go ahead and make my knot right about here. So what you're going to want to do is find the place where you want your knot, and then you're going to go ahead and make a loop here, and then you're going to make a loop going like this, but this is it's not going to go over this one, it's just going to go behind these. And then this one's going to go down through here, just like that. And this one's going to go behind all these, up through here. Oops. And just go ahead and tighten it. When you make this knot, try to make sure that both of these strands are even. And then we're just going to cut and singe this. If you want, when you singe these, you can flatten them. But I just think it looks better without flattening them. But um, I'm not, it's not going to really need to be too... Uh, it's not going to really need to be too strong for me. And if you make it for your dog or something like that, then you probably want to make it stronger. By, um, just after you light it, you just flatten it with a little flattening tool, or you can use your thumb, which it'll be hot, but you can. <laughs> and that is it. It is done. If you guys enjoy this